Hi everybody and welcome to my channel, Nickel and Dining. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. And to all my um, previous subscribers, welcome, welcome too. Hope you guys are having an enjoyable weekend. I wanted to come on with you real quick to share this DIY, as I promised, trying to glam up these soap dispensers for my bathroom. So you guys stay tuned and see what I come up with. Guys, here are the items that I will be using in this DIY today. Of course, you want to use your glue gun, and mine has seen better days, but it still works. I'm using a low temperature glue gun, um, glue stick, my flexible ruler, a pair of scissors, of course, your soap dispensers, and um, I picked up these gemstone letters at Hobby Lobby. They were $1.99 and 50% off. And I also picked up these other gemstones from Hobby Lobby for $2.99, 50% off. And I also have a few single gemstones here. And you guys, let's get started on this DIY. Okay, you guys, I have already have worked on the soap dispenser one off camera. So we're going to work on the lotion dispenser together. So... Here I'm just taking apart some of the um, the gemstone decorations and I'm trying to carefully rip them apart because those things are so, so fragile, you guys. I mean, oh my God, if you got big hands and you're trying to use these, they are not your friend. I'm telling you, I was ripping them and sticking them all together. Okay, you see me cutting some of them off. trying to get the design that I am going to use. Almost trying to mimic the uh, soap dispenser one. See you guys, I got it all sticked, tangled, and end up having to rip it apart. These things are really difficult, but they really look beautiful on your decor. I was thinking about maybe getting some and doing some for the fall on some pumpkins or something. As you can see, I'm trying to put it on my soap dispenser and press it all down. Trying to mimic the soap dispenser, but I knew I couldn't get it exact, but that's okay because, you know, they... The containers don't have to be exact, they hold different product. Here I am taking the other half of the, de the gemstone decal and just placing it next to it, the other piece. Cutting away the little uh, frail little um, ends, making sure everything is down. And I'm moving on to the back of the gemstone and cutting, getting ready to peel and cut the other piece for the back half. You guys, you have to be very, very careful when working with these. I love them though. They just add a touch of class to so many things. And there you have it. I have the bottom part. And then next we're going to move and put on our gym stuff stone um, letter L and these don't peel off as bad as the other ones because they're not as thin trying to get that L centered was not as easy as I thought it would be as you will probably see I needed to retake up the L and reposition it because it's a little bit taller than what the S was And there you have it, you guys. 
you can leave it just like this and it will be pretty but I'm going to add a little bit to the top and up, use up the rest of the gemstone decals and so I'm splitting it into two I love the little curve and the little squiggly um, designs of these these are so cute I wish I would have bought more they had them in all different colors at Hobby Lobby which I'm pretty sure a lot of you know and just like the soap dispenser I'm trying to position them around the lettering just to give it a little more detail And you guys, I'm telling you, working with big hands, <laughs> this thing is a challenge. But you can stop here, you guys, and it would look really, really nice. But, you know, we like to be a little bit over the top with our bling. So I'm going to add a little bit of the... Uh, gemstones to the top just to give it a little more detail oh I realized that I didn't have that one centered so I had to fix it a little bit and there you have it you guys it will be beautiful just like this so now I'm just going in and adding my gemstones to the top and around And I cannot wait you guys to add these to my bathroom. Taking a plain and plain dispenser and making it look extraordinary. Now I am adding the gemstones from the front going all the way around the top of the dispenser. Trying to start on one on each side, one on each side, and oh my god, all the glue, you guys. When you're working with these gemstones, just the glue, <laughs> as you can see, all over me, all over my hands. That's why I use my low temperature heat gun because you don't want to get that extra hot from the high temperature on your hands. And we really didn't put a lot of decal in the back because the back, you know, really doesn't show because you'll have it on your stand or whatever. But if you want to fill it all the way in the back with more gemstone decals, you can. That's your choice. But I mainly focus on the front. Let's see how long these hold up before I be making some new ones with my son in my bathroom. <laughs> You guys know if you got kids. And that is it, you guys. All that's really 
left to do is just to finish the back with these gemstones. And that is it. You guys, really quick and really simple DIY. Didn't pay much for the soap dispensers, and now I'm just getting rid of the glue. Okay, you guys, this is the finished product. I spent maybe five dollars at the most on the little bling wraps in the packaging of bling and i hope you guys like them and enjoyed this video leave me a comment below and let me know what do you think about me dressing up these very plain soap dispensers and if you like to push that notification button and subscribe i would love to have you guys around for the party um and you guys be blessed and take care and Bye-bye to later, you guys.